Yes, lads. Welcome back to 100% Mags. Newcastle United come away from the game down in the capital against Spurs. 2-1 winners. What a game. Newcastle took it to Tottenham. And there is some stuff we've got to talk about about this game. Uh, but what a game by Newcastle uh, against Tottenham. We were electric once again. Magnificent in our play. Eddie has got the lads performing absolutely sensational. Uh, and of course, like I say, we do have to talk about a few things in the game. Uh, there was an incident where, of course, Newcastle should have had a penalty in the game. Uh, of course, and it was Joel Linton breaking through uh, into the box. Emerson Royal came in, took him down inside the box. Now, they didn't even vor it uh, from what I could see on the game. Uh, you know, they didn't vor it. I was watching on Sky Sports and they didn't even go to VAR on uh, the decision if it was a penalty or not. Uh, we heard Carragher, who was co-commentating on uh, the game, you know, say, I don't think it's a penalty. Uh, to be honest, when you look at the images and you look at it back on the replay, it's a stormwaller. Uh, once again, you know, yet another stormwaller. But we we'll move on uh, in the game. Uh, of course, you know, we're seeing another incident in the game where... Of course, Hugo Lloris comes running out towards Callum Wilson. They're both clattering to each other. This is on the 31st minute of the game. Now, uh, you know, Callum Wilson's got every right to go for it. Hugo Lloris is well out of his goal. He just clatters into him. You know, Callum Wilson takes the ball. He comes off the better of it. He finds the ball nicely over the top of uh, Hugo Lloris and into the back of the net for 1-0 to Newcastle. 31 minutes into the game now. They go to VAR on this, uh, which you can see by the image up on screen, of course. And they start checking for, you know, a foul. They see that it's not a foul uh, and that he's got every right to go for it. They start looking to see if there's a handball in there. Uh, you know, they can't get it there. So then they look another thing. Basically, Stuart Atwell, who was on VAR, I think just really wanted to try and cut this goal out whichever way possible. There was no way for him to do that. So we managed to get the goal and rightfully deserved to get the goal as well because it was just a coming together of the two players, you know, of uh, Hugo Lloris uh, banging into Callum Wilson, Callum Wilson banging into Hugo Lloris, Hugh, uh, and Wilson came off the better of it, you know, and scored the opening goal in the game. So it was a rightful goal uh, for us to take the lead in the game, as you can see by the images that will also be up on screen, you know, to um, illustrate what I'm talking about. Uh, and then, of course, you know, fast forward to the 40th minute and we're seeing the flying Paraguayan doing it once again. Five in five now for Newcastle uh, is Miggy took the ball from the wing. He took it past two or three Tottenham players, cut it inside the box, found himself one on one with Hugo Lloris on an angle and managed to get it under the body of Hugo Lloris into the back uh, of the net at the far post absolutely sensational goal proving once again uh, how brilliant uh, of a footballer uh, you know Miggy Almiron is and he just absolutely set it alight once again tonight uh, absolutely fantastic performance but that put Newcastle 2-0 up uh, in the game uh, heading into half time of course there was some chances for Hugh, uh, Human Son in the game uh, but you know Nick Pope had them covered uh, in the one chance that did get a little bit past Nick Pope. He still got a hand on it and Kieran Trippier cleared it off the line. So there wasn't really much to talk about on that side of uh, the fence for Tottenham's attacks. Uh, but of course, we roll on to the 54th minute of the game and we're seeing uh, Harry Kane scoring a goal. Now, in my eyes, this goal should have definitely been disallowed. Uh, you can see by the image up on screen that they went the ball on this one. Now, as the ball comes across, it comes across and it grazes off the arm of, I think it's Emerson Rice uh, or Sanchez in uh, the line of the play. It comes across, it grazes his shoulder uh, before it even reaches Harry Kane. So, rightfully, it should have been choked off uh, for an offside. Uh, but Jared Gillette continued it on. Stuart Atwell also just went with the decision and allowed the goal 
but in my eyes, you know, that shouldn't have been given. Let us know your thoughts about that down in the comments below. Uh, he also drags uh, Kieran Trippier out of the ground in uh, the pursuit of getting the goal as well, as you can see by the images. Uh, and then it ends up with Kieran Trippier being on the back of Harry Kane because of Harry Kane, uh, of course, dragging him to the ground. And of course, at this point, you know, the ground was absolutely soaking wet because the second half uh, we're seeing, you know, the skies open up, thunderstorms, rain just chucking it down. And, you know, so obviously there wasn't going to be much foot in there because the ground would be absolutely soaking wet. Uh, but in my eyes, that goal shouldn't have been given uh, for Harry Kane uh, because of the foul and also because of the offside as well uh, with the ball touching uh, the arm of Sanchez on the way through to Harry Kane. Uh, putting it in the back of the net. Um, of course, Tottenham also had a chance to score uh, late on it in the 87th minute, uh, but they were found offside uh, with Eric Dia. Uh, but of course, the ball went to the side of the post, just narrowly wide, uh, but he was offside anyway, so it doesn't really matter about that one. But fantastic game by Witt tonight. A uh, really great performance by the lads. Great goal by uh, Callum Wilson and great initiative as well by Callum Wilson. It just jumps straight back up and get uh, to the ball and bang it in the back of the net. Amazing uh, bit of play by Al Mirren as well to take it down the wing, take it past the man and put it into the back of the net as well, uh, past Hugo Lloris. So two really fantastic goals by uh, Newcastle and assist by uh, Sean Longstaff as well to Al Mirren as well. So well-deserved uh, assist for Sean Longstaff on that one and uh, before I do finish off the video of course and talk about the league table I do want to uh, put out my congratulations as well to Bruno and his missus uh, who just recently had their firstborn uh, Matteo uh, who has joined of course the NUFC family the little lad uh, hopefully one day we will see him pulling on a black and white shirt at St James's Park just like his dad does uh, you know and I hope uh, he doesn't keep Bruno awake too much uh, because, you know, it's absolutely amazing uh, the, to see Bruno uh, playing in the game tonight after, you know, just uh, being at the bedside of his wife giving birth to their first airborne. But congratulations to Bruno and his missus uh, on, of course, the birth of their uh, very first born child. Moving on, of course, to the league table. Um, we will talk about where we are in the league table and I think quite a few people already know this but if you haven't been keeping an eye on the league table then you're going to be quite surprised because Newcastle are tonight fourth in the league table. Yes, you heard us right, fourth in the league table. Quite a few people said that we couldn't make it here just a year ago and now a year on we are in the top four. 21 points out of 12 games. We should have probably made it a lot sooner if decisions had have went more in our favour instead of going against it, like the Liverpool game and so on. Uh, but we're here now and let's make the most of it. You know, let's enjoy it. Uh, the next game we'll play is against Aston Villa uh, and that will be, of course, at St James's Park as we take on an Aston Villa side who have just recently... Uh, sacked Steven Gerrard. Of course, they played their game earlier on today and uh, they got a 4-0 in that game against Brentford uh, in their first game without Steven Gerrard, of course, with just a caretaker uh, boss in there. So, you know, hopefully uh, when they come to St. James's Park uh, coming up on Saturday coming, uh, then hopefully we will be able to pick up another three points in the bag and push our uh, chance, you know, to get even further ahead in the league. Uh, let's see if we can, you know, push to third in the league. Uh, but till then, it's been an absolutely fantastic uh, game tonight down in the capital. Uh, a lot of respect has to go to the Newcastle fans as well. That's travelled down there. 3,000 Newcastle fans travelled down to the game tonight. Uh, and I've seen... Images of uh, the players, of course, going across and paying their respect uh, to the fans that have travelled down there, paying the respects to us fans as well who have uh, sat and watched it at home. Um, but we are doing amazing. Let's keep this going.
intensity is our identity. That is the Eddie Howe way at Newcastle United. And that is the way I want to say we keep playing because we are doing absolutely amazing. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below about everything said in this video, uh, in this review of the game against Tottenham down at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. If you liked the video, then please hit a like on it. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can subscribe for free or you can also donate to the channel if you want to support the channel in that way uh, by, of course, hitting that thanks button down below, putting in your donation that you want uh, to donate. Uh, and all donations are appreciated, uh, little or small, uh, little or big, rather. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, the amount uh, they're all appreciated just the same uh, you know and of course all that money goes straight back into improving the channel improving the content improving the lighting improving you know the sound as well uh, so all of the money does go back in the channel to improve the content for you guys to watch uh, and let us know your thoughts on the game down in the capital against Tottenham uh, till next time come on you maggies